The winners of beauty pageants are usually awarded expensive and sparkling tiara. In a tiara, precious gems are mounted on a semicircular base made of alloy of precious metal like gold, silver and platinum. An alloy is a homogeneous mixture of either two or more metals or a metal and a non-metal. Bronze, brass, solder, etc. are some examples of alloys. In an alloy, one of the constituent metals is present in large quantity as compared to others. It is called the main metal. An alloy can be prepared by first melting the main metal followed by dissolving the other constituents in it in definite proportions. The mixture so obtained is then cooled to room temperature to get the desired alloy. After preparing alloy, it's time to examine the same to understand its characteristics. The properties of alloys are different from that of their constituent elements. For example, brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. This alloy is more durable than copper and more attractive than zinc. The properties of alloys are superior as compared to that of their constituents. For example, pure iron is very soft and it stretches easily when it is hot. Therefore, it is very difficult to use it in its pure form. Due to this reason, an alloy of iron is used by mixing small amount of carbon which makes it harder and stronger than the pure iron. The melting points of alloys are lower than that of their constituent elements. For example, solder, which is an alloy of lead and tin, has a much lower melting point than that of lead or tin. Alloys are more resistant to corrosion. For example, stainless steel, an alloy of iron, chromium and nickel, is more resistant to corrosion. Alloys have lower electrical conductivity than the pure elements. For example, brass and bronze are alloys of copper and are not good conductors of electricity. Whereas, copper is a good conductor of electricity and is used for making electrical circuits. Some alloys show resemblance in appearance with their main constituent metal. That is the reason numerous objects that are presumed to be metals are in fact made of alloys. For example, Objects made of an alloy that is bronze and a metal that is copper have similar appearance. Different alloys have different uses. Now we will learn about some of them. Brass is used for making decorative articles like vases, pots, statues. Bronze, an alloy of copper and tin is used for making coins, medals, statues, utensils, etc. Solder is used for joining electrical wires together. Stainless steel is used to make cutlery, utensils, surgical instruments, etc. Alloys of gold are extensively used for making ornaments. 24 karat gold is considered as pure gold, but it cannot be used for making ornaments as it is very soft. So, to improve the hardness and strength of pure gold, it is alloyed with a small amount of silver or copper. Usually, 22 karat gold and 18 karat gold are used for making ornaments. 22 karat gold means it has 22 parts of pure gold and 2 parts of either copper or silver, whereas 18 karat gold has 18 parts of pure gold and 6 parts of other metals, often copper or silver. If one of the constituent of an alloy is mercury, then the alloy is called as amalgam. Silver amalgam is used as dental filling. Zinc amalgam is used as reducing agent in the preparation of organic compounds. So we can say that alloys are important and useful to us.